college. History club is now live. The biggest mass murder in history. Epic means all the way. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's epic necessarily. Epic with different connotation. Well, I mean, I don't know. Different connotation. Sure. Um, Joseph Stalin, which was born in 1878. Um, he's actually born in Georgia, which was ruled by Russia at the time. So, I don't know. He, I mean, he spoke Russian or whatever. Um, I have no idea how the heck to pronounce that. I am Russian, but I don't know how to pronounce that. Where? Oh. Uh, that was his actual name. He grew up in a poor childhood. His father was very abusive, and his father was a shoemaker. His mother was a laundress. So, yeah, his father was also very alcoholic. So, I mean, um... I don't know if you've noticed some of the pictures you've seen of him, but as a kid he developed smallpox, which a lot of things that happen in your face can almost leave scars, so it left him with facial scarring. Um, you noticed it in the first picture, it's very visible. Um, he got involved in revolutionary politics as well as criminal activity as a, at a young age. Um, he changed his name to Stalin, meaning Man of Steel, because um, he wanted to rule everywhere. Um, he earned a scholar in his teen years. He earned a scholarship to attend seminary in um, a seminary in Georgia. Um, he studied priesthood. I, I, I don't get me wrong, Stalin. Yeah, but really, a priest? I don't know. Um, began secretly um, reading the work of the Germans, um, the philosopher of a communist manifesto. Um, Stalin was expelled from seminary for missing exams. What are the odds? Old Stalin getting into trouble. Um, probably oversleeping too. That's probably why he missed the thing. Um, after Stalin left school, he became an underground political alligator, um, took part in labor demonstrations and strikes. Stalin adopted the name Kova after a fictional Georgian outlaw hero. I didn't get a chance to look in on that. Um, let's keep changing his name. Um, he joined um, militias and uh, Marxist social democratic movements um, led by Vladimir Lenin. Um, Stalin became involved in various criminal activity, including bank heists that proceeds from which the proceeds went to help fund um, the Bolshevik party. Uh, Stalin was arrested a uh, countless number of times between 1903 and 1913. Um, he was subjected into imprisonment and exile in Serbia. Um, Stalin got married in 1906 um, to his first wife, but she later perished. Um, Wasn't she the one who committed suicide? No. Oh, okay. Uh, but her that was son the other one. also perished as an infant. Um, later, Stalin married again, but they had two children, a boy and a girl, but then Nadia later committed suicide. Okay. So uh, in her early 30s. Um, 1912, Lenin, then in exile in Switzerland, appointed Joseph Stalin to serve on the first... Central Committee of the Bolshevik Party. Three years later, in November 19 of November 1917, the Bolsheviks seized power in Russia. The Soviet Union was founded in 1922 with Lenin as its first leader. During these years, Stalin had continued to move the party ladder and 
1922, he became Secretary General of the Central Committee of the Communist Party, a role that enabled him to appoint his allies to government jobs and grow a base of political support. Paul. Um, after Lenin died um, in 1924, Stalin eventually um, um, out like he out yeah outmaneuvered his rivals um, and later won um, power of the Communist Party. Um, by late 1920s, he became dictator of the Soviet Union. Um, in the late 1920s, Stalin had a big idea to expand the Soviet Union. His ideas were focused around the government control of the economy and forced the collectivization of Soviet agriculture in which the government took control of farms. Farmers didn't like that. So they rebelled, but then they got sent into exile because of it, or killed, or tortured, either way. We came up with the strangest ways to kill people. Uh, Stalin ruled by terror with um, a totalitarian uh, grip in order to eliminate anyone who might oppose him. He expanded the powers of the secret police, encouraged citizens to spy on one another, and had millions of people killed and sent to wall system of forced labor um, camps. Excuse me. Um, I'm not sure he killed them. He just, I had a grand grandfather that lived in the Soviet Union. He had a um, blind horse and a cow. He was counted rich. It was taken away from him, and he was forced to move to Serbia. And even though they're supposed to move to Serbia to move to Moscow, because in Serbia everybody died. So he technically killed them, but he really didn't. He just moved them. This is before he goes to the stone? Um. But wasn't right. that when he was exiled in Serbia? No. The Communist Party did this all the time, no matter what. All right. Uh, 1939, on the eve of World War II, Joseph Stalin and the German dictator Adolf Hitler signed the Non-Aggression Pact. He also launched an invasion on Finland, and then in June 1941, German broke the Nazi-Soviet Pact and invaded the USSR. What fun. Nothing like getting back on backstabbers. Um, <laughs> As German troops approached the Soviet capital of Moscow, Stalin remained there and directed a um, scorched earth defensive policy, destroying any supplies um, that could have benefited the enemies. Um, uh, the tide turned for the Soviets with the Battle of Stalingrad from August 1942 to February 1943, during which the Red Army defeated the Germans and eventually drove them from Russia. Um, his iron will and um, deaf political skills enabled him to play the loyal ally while never abandoning his vision of an expanded post-war Soviet empire. Um, so he just kind of kept right on going after the invasion. Um, he established the communist government throughout Eastern Europe. Um, and in 1949, led the Soviets into the nuclear age by exploding atomic bombs. Um, in 1950, he gave North Korea's communist leader, Kim Sung, um, permission to invade the United States supported South Korea, an event that triggered the Korean War. Uh, Stalin, who grew increasingly paranoid in his later years, died March 5th, 1953, at age 
74 after suffering a stroke. Funny thing about that stroke is that because of his paranoia, he didn't trust any of the doctors, so he had him all outside. So when he had a stroke, there were no doctors around to help him. Another thing is you weren't allowed in his room without permission. He had a stroke in his room. So everyone knew that he was having a stroke, but decided to leave him there because they didn't have permission to go into his room. Wait, didn't the body just like stay there for two days? Oh yeah. It? Yeah, exactly. No one wanted to touch the body because it's against the rules. You'll go to exile. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's it. All right. Any questions? Anyone? Any questions? Anyone? Questions? No one? Yes. Why are you so interested in Joseph Stalin? <laughs> He's my favorite mass murderer. I know I shouldn't say that, but it's true. Okay. <laughs> All right. Murder. You gotta side with the Russians.